Oh, I'm hating my phone so much right now. <clears throat> there we go. That's better, slightly. Uh, hello, welcome to my messy desk. Uh, so, today we are making altered paper clips. Let me show you some that I have done. So, I make them very different. Because all my junk journals are different. All my You can make them all the same, but... For me, it makes sense to make them all different. And I do the simpler, easier style where you can see the clip on the back. There are a million and one ways to make these and uh, to cover them and to, you know, all of that stuff. So I'm just going to show you what I do and uh, then we're going to craft a bit together. Let me put these slightly to the side. So the first thing we need is a base, like something like this. And that can be it also. That can that can be like, yeah, this is good enough. You can use this as, as your paper clip. I'm going to move you slightly closer to me here. Come here. Yeah. So for me, I start with the paper clip. So I know the size of it. I prefer to have this either the same size as the paper clip or slightly longer than the paper clip. Okay, that's, that's my preferred method. You can have the paper clip sticking out. You can have a little decoration at the top. You can do what you want to do. But what I do, I just grab some scraps. This is from Easter, some Easter paper. And I have already checked. This is pretty much twice the size of my paper clip. And I have learned that the width of my paper clip is about my metal ruler that is drowning in stuff here. There it is. I found it. I found it. Victory. Victory. Yay. Okay. <coughs> <If you... coughs> I don't have a cold. It's my allergies. And it's been kicking my butt for a few days now. And the moment I leave home. I swear I just had it. Okay. Let's. You know what? Buying this bucket of blade knife sets was a lifesaver because I keep losing my no I can't put it down because there's so much stuff in the way there we go um I have ADHD and I constantly miss I can I put my glue bottle down and when I reach to get it again it's not there it's it's just gone somewhere and I find it two days later in the kitchen for some strange reason anyway um so I spend a lot of time looking for stuff, even though I've just been sitting here crafting. Stuff goes missing constantly. I think you've seen that in my videos. Um, <clears throat> you need to come down a bit so you can see this part of my desk. Because I have to otherwise work with my arms just straight out like a zombie. Zombie arms when I craft is doesn't really work so I kind of put it here and I see the edge of the paper let me zoom in a bit so you can see that I see the edge of the paper here and I try to have it even distance very simple and I do that and my base is done if I cut properly yeah so I do now at this point if you want some fancy edging if you want sewing I would do it at this part I would do it here. Um, and yes, I cut myself with the craft knife. <laughs> I'm dangerous with these things. I cut off this nail. Uh, so I actually bled because the nail got so short. So I put the falsies on. And uh, now I'm cutting the falsies. Actually, one nail is real. Can you guess which one? Just saying. <laughs> Sidetracked. Yay! Squirrel brain. Yay! Okay, so this point you can do just this and glue it together and you have a good base <clears throat> what i've started doing a, quite a lot of lately is i take a little hole punch or just a scissor now i do this so you can see the hole better and i put it in just a tiny bit and just the light here just a little bit do you see that that's the paper Whee! so just a little bit just kind of the thickness of the paper clip. And then when I put it in here and glue it together, you can't see any of the paper clip on the front. It's not a must. It's just something I've started doing. Let me find one that I haven't done it on because 
I have plenty of those. Oh, and this one I used the fancy scissors, that little pattern cutting scissors, you know, and the the paper clip is pretty much gone. And I have a pretty pretty edge. Why is talking so hard? Here we go. Here's one where I didn't uh, do uh, like push it down or something. And from the front front you can see it. And this has a good purpose too. Because you can put a jump ring or uh, like something with a clamp or just something and you can put it through this hole and you can hang it dangly from your paper clip. Uh, now I put another paper clip there just to prove that you can put something there. Because you can figure that out. <clears throat> I apologize. Let me adjust my lights. It's full day. <coughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> it's full daylight. Oh, got to love allergies, don't you? So, at this point, I just glue it together. You, If you want rounded edges, since <clears throat> if you're using the punch, you won't get to it with the paper clip if you have one of these punches. Um, if I put the paper clip in there, it doesn't reach. You can't push it in. But if you do like this, it works fine. And then you glue the paper clip in. Okay, so a small part on the inside because you want the bigger loop on the outside. Because this paper pretty much prolongs the, the small hoop. Yeah, I was going to show you this quickly and I keep blabbing. We're six minutes in and I haven't even glued it together. Oh, goodness. Let me move that because I see the shine. And I just wait for the glue to come down. And make sure you get enough glue just around the paper clip because that will help keep it down there so it doesn't come out. And you don't need any special fancy glue, <clears throat> just something that holds the paper together. I have a friend, she loves using the hot glue for this and uh, works fine. Uh, I know one that used glue stick. I can't make glue stick work. It, It's probably my glue sticks because it keeps popping open. Um, and I push it to this side and I make sure to push it. Now I try to push it down here. But be gentle because the paper wants to break where it goes over the paper clip. So the paper clip is in there like that. And I'm trying to push here to get the paper to adhere to the paper on the back. That gives it like the, that extra, you know, it's stuck in there. Okay. Uh, but be gentle because the paper wants to break uh, where it goes over the paper clip underneath there. In the in, inside so there you have the base and you can keep it like this if you want to you can decorate it and stuff I want to decorate it at this point moving this out of the way and moving that out of the way and moving that out of the way oh my goodness look at me cleaning oh my goodness so you want uh, I prefer to do this kind of small um, because the paper clips aren't that big, so they can't like grab on and, and hold on to really heavy stuff. So I prefer to make them small. So for these ones, I just stamped, as you can see, that's the base. So I just stamped a whole lot of uh, these little, these little gnomes, these little Santas uh, onto paper, cut them out, rounded the corner, inked them and just had a bunch and put them together. So I have a ton of Christmas these I'm going to use for my Christmas card. They're going to keep hatched, closed, little flip closed. Uh, so I made a ton of those. Um, it's very easy. So find your small stamps, for example. Maybe you have something like this. And these are usually colored in. And if you don't like the color, like this is red. This is a good way also to use your scrap pieces of paper. So that's it. And you know, it doesn't, it never really looks good to me. Uh, so what I prefer to do is grab my ink pad. That's hopefully not covered in, <laughs> in this. Oh my goodness, I forgot to uh, move you, move you, move you. Let's move you. Let's move you there. There. Now we can see a bit better. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I keep forgetting. I don't know what you've seen. So I prefer to actually this down and 
I want the I want I I like having the round ring around it because it gives it like a frame and you can cut it out much easier if you want to. If nothing, it gives it a nice edge and I just there. So uh, at this point I can rip it. Oh yes, let's rip. I love ripping. I love ripping. There we go, and I have a little decoration for my little paper clips. Paper clips, paper clips. And we have no rippage on the top, so I want a little bit of rippage. Now I put my nail or thumb or whatever on top of the image so I don't rip the image. It kind of keeps it from ripping. See, I was just going to show you some quick paper clips and instead of talk about how to rip. <laughs> You get so much information, don't you? And yeah, I know I'm I'm inking my nails. <laughs> I always ink my entire me. And I always glue all of me. All of me. It's covered in glue, my friend. Let's grab something like that. So uh checking how the paper clip is because I did an oops yesterday and put actually the image upside down and it was a whole deal before I, I kind of fixed it because normally I put it on a page. Let's pretend this is a page. I put it like on top or from the side like that. So, um, and even if, so if, 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 if I put it on the top, you know, the image will be upside down, but you can use your paper clip from the bottom too. So decide which way your paper clip is going to be. And uh, now I want to see that the top is there. That's one downside to hiding the paper clip like I did here. It's that when I flip it like that, I don't know which what is up. What's what is up? Baby, don't hurt me. No. Um I am so sorry. Uh now I need my little basket with I think I want some so I have this little basket with little the leftovers and stuff uh, and I think this is what I want something like that maybe do I want so I'm kind of checking color wise what I would like to use I could cover this completely if I wanted to but I feel I kind of want to no oh wait 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 I have this I have this little scrappy thing let's use that putting the basket away so I want something more than just this and this you can leave it like that if you want to I feel I want something under the spider that kind of poop poops it up pops it up oh this piece of scrap has a bit of blue on it a little blue splatter on it so how about this and make it slightly I'm actually gonna make it shorter than the spider so I want all edges ripped how long do I want it I want it slightly smaller than this that's just what I'm feeling so I'm just going I'm just sitting here playing basically it's just testing things out playing not too bothered with it um so this is slightly bigger. If I put it that way, probably hide the spider, but I think I want that. Yeah, I'm going with that. That's a nice little, little kind of almost clustery thing. So I'm going to glue on this because this is going to go down there. So I don't mind if it sticks out. So now I'm going to put this in a way that I like. It's not pushed down properly yet there I'm happy with that so I just wanted a little bit sticking out not a whole lot Oop. <laughs> yeah that's me oh come on I need to refill these buggers again they're always empty <clears throat> and uh, yeah, I want you up in the corner let's put you up there now, I could have put the lace underneath, but I'm thinking I want the lace down here. Yeah, I do. Scissor. Scissor. Schnoops. And 
I feel like it's gonna need something else too but let me get to that in a bit so I'm gonna put some glue here and I'm gonna make it slightly thinner don't need that much glue and here we go now at this point you can you can just keep going if you want to so you can make a hole here put a little eyelet and have a dangle hangling hangling yes let's go let's make it hangling um just know i don't usually wipe i just do this and it rolls up and i can toss it uh but for you guys no i don't want that i don't feel like that uh i want something else on top here now i have all these stickers and they're kind of small but i don't think i have anything that would fit yeah i use this quite a lot actually because they are small stickers always have useful small stickers i seem to never have enough actually i kind of like those numbers there that's a possibility i i'm not committed to that yet so this is why it takes so long for me to make stuff because i keep trying stuff out yeah mm. These two, no, you can't see me at all. Let me move stuff. There we go. <clears throat> so this was a sticker pack. I think uh, Amazon, most likely Amazon. Uh, too big, but uh, a ticket would be cool on here. I want something here. Just something. I could just put some stickles there. Now my allergy meds are kicking in, so I can breathe a bit easier. Uh, I had to take all the allergy stuff I had today. It's very annoying. So what I'm doing is I'm um, taking the, the, let's say, this butterfly and just checking. Do I want that there? No, it blends too much. No. <clears throat> I like the color wise, but it blended a bit too much. I want something that you can actually see. So maybe that flower. No, don't like it. <clears throat> I don't think I will have anything in this one that, that fits. So let me show you something else. Uh, I'm not even going to go through all this. Because I want to show you something else. So this is the perfect time to bring out... <clears throat> I'm sorry. <clears throat> At least I'm not coughing my lungs out like I would do this morning. So this is a perfect time to find all your little punched out things so sometimes it can be something uh, i have a lot of stuff in this box something as simple as a little a little circle like that that blends too much let me grab this one that's better it gives it some type of interest um keeping that for a possibility I also have a lot of little tiny things here, like maybe leaf. No, don't feel like a leaf. Black cat. Yeah, no. And I could have this sticking out. Not really feeling it. I have a lot of stuff in this. Don't forget also you can use your washi tapes, you can use uh, stickles, you can use... I actually kind of like that. Especially when it's sticking out like that. Just doing a quick rummage here. <clears throat> and I also have... Uh, I'm almost tipping over my coffee. Have this with a lot of tiny little thingies. But I'm kind of leaning towards this one. And now I can't remove the dot. But I also kind of want. That's a bit too cutesy for the spider. I want something more. I don't know. I don't know what I want. You know what? I kind of like the, the label. I'm going to stick with the label. La label. So I'm going to put the glue here. Kind of where I 
want the label and I can always better it up afterwards if I want to. So with the label sticking out, I could choose a word for it. Let's press this down and let's grab my little word box. So we have that and let's put uh, uh, calm, create, let's explore fit there. Yes, if I rip it down, because I feel spiders and explore kind of fits. That's just something. I have a lot of spiders in my home. And they're always out exploring. I find them in the strangest places. And <clears throat> they're fast. And when I go to bed, there's no spider web. But when I come up in the morning, I walk straight into it. It's like, where did it come from? I'm going to cut this bottom just slightly. Do I want to ink this one? No, I actually don't. I don't feel like inking that one. Oh my goodness, did you hear me? I didn't ink. I didn't want to ink. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oops. And uh, you're falling off. So let's I like this glue so much. It it's um it sticks very fast, but you still have like a few like second or two to adjust stuff. So we have that. Do I want some blingy bling on this? I have a black new stickle. But I put it somewhere and now I don't know where. Probably it's on the other desk because I was working on the other desk too yesterday. Um, that's the thing. I have three desks. The one behind me have all a ton of stuff on it. The one over there I'm currently doing Christmas cards on. And this one is I'm working on my green journal. But right now I'm out of paper clips. So that's our little paper clip. Uh, let's do another one. So this is book pages and I this one I cut the top a little You know, so uh, I want it to stick out a little bit from the book and I think that would look really nice um, <clears throat> So what do I want to do here? Let's grab a piece of fabric uh, Let's rip do I want it this way or that way I want it I just want a little square I think so let me do that and I just want something in the center, I think, this time. Usually I do so the fabric hangs out a bit and I like that style. But now I just want a little kind of squarish thing in the middle. So the floof is getting a bit too long on this side, so I'm just cutting that off. And let's put some glue on it. I have some glue stuck to the tip there yum, 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 yum. now this glue will most likely bleed because I'm globby on so I'm just smooshing it slightly before putting I need to eat something I'm getting shaky uh, a lot of times I just coffee 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 and then oh I forgot to eat um, do we want to do something cutesy or do maybe we want a bird on this? So I have a lot of these fussy cut birds. Um, and sometimes you just want something cute and simple. Also, feel like this needs some green of some kind, but I do want the bird here. And if you think it doesn't fit, you know, you can always fiddle with you know the angle. I have a ton of birds that are cut up from bird books and I really like them. Different shape, different sizes. Some of them are sitting on tree stumps. There, and I feel like I need something green. I need to, you know what I want? Some green ink. Ink the edges on, with green on this one. So I want something green. So I'm gonna check among these stickers. Let me put those aside. Oh, mm. No, no roses. Mm -hmm. Just want something small green. Small green. Small green. 
Oh, by the way, uh, I have a lot of paper packs, different types on my Etsy and on my Tradera. Uh, links down below if you're curious. And I am currently working on some new paper packs that uh, have papers from both vintage and antique books and newspapers and uh, magazines and stuff like that. So... <laughs> Hey, oh, why not a little bow? Oh, I like that. Yes, let's go with that. Nice little bow. Now for these, I use a different glue because they're kind of plasticky and I feel like my book binding glue doesn't quite get it. So I'm using silicone glue here. This is what I'm using. Yeah, you can kind of see it. It's a silicone glue. Um... And I feel they work really well for these stickers. You can use hot glue again. You can use kind of anything. Now since these are the, the plasticky, I like to cut it. Normally I like when things stick out, but I like to cut this. And I also feel this needs... There is that. And here is that. Look at me finding stuff. Huh? Isn't it amazing? I find stuff. I find stuff. So I just want to give it, give the edges a little bit extra, Oof. a little extra. But what about the back? Well, you won't see the back of this one. You will only see the, the paper clip when it's in the journal. So, um, there we go. So the back isn't that important. You can decorate it too. And I had have some that I let the, the fabric wrap around the back. Let me grab this one. Ah, moving the lights a bit. So if I want to put something in here, for example, just clip it onto the page. And then it looks like that. So when you flip it over, you only see the, the little paper clippy thingy. Like that. You don't see the back of this. You don't see that part. You only see the paperclip part. So, there we go. Now we made two. Oh my goodness. I taken me half an hour to make two. Usually I'm a bit faster than that. But, uh, and I prefer to make a lot of different ones. <laughs> and since I do a lot of nature journal, of course I make a lot of them with nature theme, bird themes. You know, because that's what I use a lot of. So all these have bird themes. The birds flying there, bird there, bird there, there. So uh, I do a lot of them, but this one has a bird and it's also very blingy. So this one can go in like very classic journals too. Um, same with this. It's very blingy. I'll put some stickles on there. And this one can go with something that's very neutral tone, doesn't have to be nature themed. But like I said, I use the bird book. So a lot of stuff is from the bird book. So again, the bird, but I used a darker one. And here I let the fabric come around to the back. Um, I have better examples of that too. Here I have the fabric sticking out, sticking out, oh, upside down. And again, the bird. Yes, I have a lot of birds. And um, this one, just black lace, a little sticker, and some stickles. Um, I did not like the black stickles, though, because the glue for the black stickers are clear. So uh, I like to do, like, put a bit of stickles and smear it. And then you get the glittery stuff. But if you do it with this one, it, all of a sudden it's just black glitter smeared. And if it doesn't hold the right light it just looks filthy it looks like it's dirty so as you can see i used a lot of scraps a lot of little snippets snippets a lot of small stickers cut out words um this one i had to clamp because it i folded it over a bit here and you can see the clamp that made a little mark 
and uh, then some of them I just printed stuff out. I made these uh, images in Canva. I printed them out and I glued them onto the base. So you can make the base with. Uh, hang on, I have more. I have more. I have, ooh, dropping it, dropping it. So you can make the base the base really like basic. And you can make it part of the design. So here the base is sticking out and the design is smaller. Uh, or you can cover it completely like I did with the Christmas one and just stack, plop it onto it. Or you can use even more of your scraps and make, there it is, and make little clusters like this. And you just slop them onto your base. And you can just mass make it. The base doesn't have to be bigger. It can be smaller. So you have a lot of sticky outy things. So yeah. I have a lot of clusters here too. Shall we? I need to make more clusters. But I keep forgetting to use the ones I have. So maybe not. Or you can just put like a nice little sticker on it. Just let me pick something. Maybe that one. Just. There you go. Done. You put some stickles around it or and stickles i don't say sticker S stickers you can use too and don't forget your small stamp but i'm talking stickles like these i really like this but not the black one these clear ones i use a lot more this is stardust and this is crystal and i use these two quite a lot because it gives a bling without putting any color on it so for this one for example i can see like the glitter but it doesn't give like dots that stand out because they have a different color okay uh well my tummy is grumbling so i am actually gonna um <laughs> i need to clean my desk again because i i'm gonna go have lunch and then i'm gonna continue with my green journal i just put a pocket in and i didn't cut off the fabric so I'm going to keep working on this. I put a, an, um, a shorts video out where I did a very quick, quick, I can't speak. A very quick, a very, oh, goodness me, a very quick flip through. Words, hard, wow, lunch. Um, so I did a very quick flip through and asked, is it done? The funny thing is I didn't get comments on the shorts video, but instead people watched the shorts, went over to my Instagram and talked to me there <laughs> in messages. I, I like any way you co communicate. I love hearing what you make. I love hearing about your, your crafting. And sometimes uh, some of you too have ADHD and we kind of go down that rabbit hole and talk about pretty much everything. Um... So that I actually love so much. Okay, um, lunch. I'm going to go have lunch now. Hope you guys have an amazing day and I will talk to you really soon. Bye.